Welcome back, this is part 35 of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. Last time we started the Seafloor Cavern, this time I'm going to try to hit the fast forward button. Alright, let's see. I actually just tried this puzzle, I screwed it up, so we're going to do it, I'm going to do it legit. I didn't even look through, I didn't even look at a walkthrough, bro. Alright, let's just push you over here. I'm sorry, pushing boulders really, really brings back the memories of, a. Uh... yeah, we're good. Pushing back, pushing boulders brings back the memories of Pokemon what red yellow and blue victory road and like i remember i got stuck on that crazy like i stuck i got stuck on that for a long time when i was a kid like it was straight up torture because you had to push the blocks down the hole and looking back on it it's very easy because i think you just like there's no other place to go you just push them down the hole but to get them onto the switch and then to get them to the point where they don't block off the guy or whatever however it had to be that was just that was legit that was legit i miss those games but they, they didn't age well. I'm glad they... Let's go, Pincher! Let's go! Um, I'm glad they, they remade them. Honestly, though, I feel like they're almost it's almost due for another remake. Um, I would love to see a remake of Diamond Pearl Platinum. Obviously, that's the next one in the series they have to or they should remake. Um, I, I, I think those games don't get enough love. They're definitely not... They're not my favorites, but I felt like they were an extension of this game. Um... Not in terms of thematics or anything, because what was the team Plasma? Was it? They did, they were kind of like psychotic. They were like that's when the okay that's when the Pokemon game started to get more sci-fi in terms of oh we're trying to find Pokemon of time and space and it's not like in this realm and Giratina's in the other world and all that's like that's that's a little crazy like not a little crazy but it's it's a little far-fetched. I mean, this was like yo the environment save the environment. The old games were just like yo beat the bad guys become the Pokemon champion like that was. That was my speed. But I do like Platinum for the, or Diamond Pro Platinum, for the diversity in the cities. I think that they gave a lot of good life to uh, to those cities. Like, I think of Jubilife, Jubilife City, I guess, the first real city that you get to. And it just has so much character. It's like, it could be just another, you know, Viridian or Pewter City where you, you start your journey. But it, it has a lot of neat characteristics that introduce the whole internet connectivity aspect of the games. And... It had the, the. It was the first place you really saw the the detail for the day and night system again. When it starts to get darker outside and it's the street lights come on, it was just it was it had such neat characteristics. Um, that's something else that I really appreciate. That obviously they brought back in Sun and Moon with the gradual time system. Like the, there's actually a clock uh, as opposed to the you know the, what six or the eight hour time shares of the of gold silver crystal which technically there was like a gradual there were what, five time differences um, in gold silver crystal but it was you you only saw three differences in the way the, the screen looks like three lighting schemes um all right let's do this um but i i, I think that Diamond Pro Platinum, they brought a lot of cool things to the series they really did and i didn't need to do that i did not need to do that all right here we go should i should i save i'm not gonna save. i can't save i could save uh, we're gonna lead. We're gonna lead with Chubbs. I don't think there's a battle here. There could be a battle here, but we'll lead with Chubbs just because if there is a battle, it's probably gonna involve Mighty Yenna. But I don't know. I think I need I need me some Diamond Pearl Platinum again. Team choice. That's Earthquake. I just realized that. That has to be Earthquake. Who, who gets Earthquake? I'm not gonna teach it now. But uh, was that Earthquake? That was Earthquake. All right. Cool. There's going to be a lot of move overhauls, probably, before the Leaf Force over. Because my moveset sucks right now. Alright, here we go. we got to walk up slowly. Gasp, what is that? Hold it right there. Yeah, Archie's back. Foo -foo -foo. So it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is. The sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre. I've waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you've managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now. And here it goes. Peep the battle thing. Peep. Peep the battle thing. Peep. That's just beautiful. What the freaking, is that a trumpet? I don't know. It's like, it's freaking sound font or whatever, but that's just beautiful. It's so, it's such an athletic theme. The freaking, the freaking vibrancy. That's just beautiful. I love this. It just, it just keeps growing. It's just, it makes me, I'm, I'm into it. I'm into it. Come on, bust through it, Chubbs. Bust through it, Chubbs. You can't bust through it. You're not ready. You're not built for the league, boy. You're not built for the league. Come on now. You're dead. You're donezo. 
You're donezo. Look at that. Recoil? We need that. Come on, bust through it. You can do it. There's not much in that pinhead of you. Let's go. There's not much in that pinhead of yours, I was going to say. You got... Let's go! Alright, we're good. We're good. We're good. That's a seven level difference. That better... No, it's not a level up. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Needle arm! Let's go! Needle arm! Alright, so Leaf Seed, Spikes... Uh, I want to keep Spikes for the Elite Four, but I also want to keep Leaf Seed for the Elite Four. I think I'm going to get rid of Spikes. No, I think I'm going to get rid of Leaf Seed, because Leaf Seed only helps Cac turn, and uh, Spikes at least helps the entire team. So we're thinking, we're thinking about the, we're thinking about the team here. Crobat, all right, Crobat. Who's good for Crobat? I could send Pooh. Yeah, I think Pooh's probably the best for this, uh, for this, this endeavor. I can't believe Cacturn is really my highest level, but I, I really need Needle Arm, um, especially for the final gym. Uh, we should be fine. Uh, the final gym's a water type, so you have Pooh Bear with his Shockwave, and I might give him Thunderbolt for that. And then you have Needle Arm, Cacturn, so we should be good. But we'll see. Alright, I think he'll use a... Yeah, he'll use a potion. He only has super potions? Are you kidding me, B? I could have killed you. I could have won. I could have I could have bought him. It's okay. It's okay, I'll give him that. He needs it. Oh, he has another one. We're, we're good anyway. That's good. Because he could have... He probably would have killed Pooh Bear here. If he uh, used like a wing attack or something. Got that crit. Which, actually, it's interesting that he has a Crobat. Because Crobat, you have to evolve with affection uh, so it's kind of cool because you see Archie is this you know bad guy this evil dude but he somehow has an affection for his Pokemon uh, you never really see him disrespect his Pokemon or anything like that like you would in the old games with Team Rocket so it's I think it's pretty neat that he was able to get a Crobat because you have to love that Pokemon here we go Needle Arm don't kill me please don't kill me. okay we're good we're good we're good Look at that, that's just so cool. It's just like, man, and you see the, the punch, it just pops up so fast. It's like, you get hit with the needle shards, and then like, pop, pop, pop. That's just dope. I love it. Okay. We don't care about rough skin. One thing I will say, I, I lost again. I will say, well, I got, we got dialogue. I'll get back to that. I'll get back. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I commend you. You recognize that you are truly, I recognize it. I must recognize that you are truly gifted. But, I have this in my position. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. And then the, the mist fades. The red orb began shining, and I love how it envelops the screen. And he's gone. What? I didn't do anything. Why the red orb? Where did Kyle go? Hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm, it's raining heavily? Good. That should have happened. That is why we wake in Kyle to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned? You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? And Team Magma shows up. What have you wrought? you finally awakened Kyogre, haven't you? Well, what will happen to the rest of the world if this downpour... <laughs> I didn't have a voice prepared for him. I'm all over the place now. Oh, no. What are you saying? The Red Orb should let me control Kyogre. That can't be possible. We don't have the time. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See what you've wrought. See if what you've wrought is the world you've desired. <sighs> I screwed that up. I screwed that. I can't do it. I can't do... I can't do dual voices. But this is dope. This is actually dope. What What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible, horrible mistake? The lightning flashing, the, the freaking rain, the torrential downpour. This is beautiful. Alright, so, Bran. We, Team Magma, have, have been pursuing Team Aqua to prevent the sound. Well, you didn't do much, because I'm a 10-year-old boy, and I just bodied their whole squad underwater by myself. No heals. No heals. Oh, piss. Don't be doing that. Alright, so, they're going to run off, and who's going to show up? Who's going to show up? Who? Steven Stone! Let's go. Bran, what is happening? This is terrible. If this doesn't stop, all home and no, the whole world will drown. This cloud, this huge rain cloud is spreading from above Su Sutopolis. When well, the world's taking place there. There's no point in arguing here. Su well, who's arguing, bro? I'm not arguing with you. I'm silent. Alright, so that's your cue, obviously, to go to Sutopolis. Um, I'm going to actually stop the episode shortly because I don't want to do all this in one. 
one go. And I'm also kind of tired. I've been sitting here for the longest. But we're going to fly, actually, to Lily Cove. And let's see. I think, as you'll notice, the music, it changes. And sadly, the dialogue doesn't change, which, honestly, it makes sense because that'd be a lot of dialogue to change. Uh, at least at this stage of game design, I guess. Um, but you'll notice, you know, you go here and you have rain. I don't think the entire map is enveloped in rain. Like, if we go to Mauville, I think if you go far enough inland, it's not raining. I think, yeah. So, kind of a bummer because these people, like, they have no idea what's going on. And if you, I mean, it makes sense, though. Because from where Hi Hyogre, from where Kyogre is, Kyogre was over here. Yet, so the rain is, like up to this point. I think Pacific Log Town might be raining. Actually, we might just go there next. Yeah, I sh we should go there next. I'm going to do that in the next episode. That actually makes a lot of sense. Because I don't know if it's raining. I never go to Pacific Log before I go to Sotopolis. So we'll see. And it'll be kind of cool to see what the... Uh... Whoa, that's cool. I forgot you can do that. You can zoom in on... That's... Oh, I forgot to... Sh that's so dope. So, so look, you can zoom... Okay, I know I was going to end the episode. But look, you can zoom in. You get a, you get a map of the town... You get that's crazy, and then it tells you what's on the rust. That's dope. It's, this game's amazing. I love this game. It's so cool. Look at you just. I used to do this all the time. That's. I love this game. Okay, all right. But yeah. So next time, what we're gonna do? I'm gonna actually fly back to Moss Deep, and uh, we're gonna leave from Moss Deep and head down south and to the west to Pacific Log to the final. Well, technically the final town, the second to final town, uh, in this case, and we'll explore there. See if it's raining. And then we'll head off to Sutopolis. So thank you very much for watching. Is Steven Stone home? I think he's in Sutopolis. Yeah, we'll hang out at his house. Because there's, uh, there's nice music here. Once again, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.